Hello, everyone. Uh, this one may have come out of left field. You know what? I don't think anyone cares, to be honest. I don't even know why I'm, like, giving this disclaimer. Anyway, this came out. It looked interesting. I like Sonic. Uh, yep. There you go. Um, but... <clears throat> This came out on April Fools, so I'm very late, but uh, I wanted to play it. It looked interesting. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'll figure out if my face cam has a better spot for it in a little bit. Made it onto the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Alright, we're not gonna do any funny business. Sal J, did I spell that right? I hope passengers can read my scribble. Anyway, like I said, I'll, I'll move my face if I feel like I'm blocking a lot of stuff. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this my first day on the job jitters? Working on the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Sal J, shake it off. Seljay, could I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh. I'd all right myself. I feel like a bit bigger sweet. That's because you're a sweetie. Trying to butter me up the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia Lock. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Ha ha ha. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working on the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu's been added to your inventory. I can open the inventory any time to view items I received. I should look over the menu carefully. Oh, okay. Here we go. Mirage Express's dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> wow. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Ding ding ding, glad you read the menu, okay. <laughs> what about the vessel? This is a state of the art, high speed, smart train, with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events, so it's not a passenger train. Remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understand? I can't afford to lose this job. You sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. Ha 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 ha. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening all aboard. Alright, look. Sorry if I don't sound like Tails and Friends, okay? I am... I am not their original voice actor, and even if I was paid to voice act, uh... Uh, it probably wouldn't be for these guys, but it may be. I don't know. I have an okay Sonic, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I could get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I was going to go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. You can't promise I won't take anything, though. Oh my god. I'm gonna, uh, forget the voices I use, and you're just gonna have to deal with that. Thanks. Thanks in advance for being, uh, kind viewers. 
Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna me? Uh, who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of char uh, What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Zelda. You're sweating through your uniform. Ahem. <clears throat> Hey, pal. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I know you're probably like, you said you had a good Sonic. You know what? I tried. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait till I announce everyone's rolls to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have the mountain ready. You'll join me, LJ, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to, and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Alright, start with Nux. How do you care? Please get your ticket. Think that's a ticket? I don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Who's the conductor? Doesn't want to argue either. Humph. <laughs> I get your ticket, youngin. Right here, sir. Oh shit, I'm using the same voice for Tails and the main character. Oh, whatever. Thank you. May I offer you any of these snacks we have on board? No, thank you. I always, when I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin, sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. What? No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Oh, what? Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Uh-huh, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Goodness, someone on this train is normal. I don't think that's fair necessarily, but... Uh... Does this thing have a ticket? Mind if I do? This food is for guests, you know. Rain, be sure Sal J only gets one of those if they ask. Yeah, I'm just kind of odd. Really, uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Ha 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 ha, good try, young buck. Trey and I have worked together for a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Friend. I'm surprised Shadow came. Although, to be fair, I, someone else is writing this, so they probably just wanted him to be here because he's cool. Check it, please. Too kindly happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you'd swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a sec. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our trip, Sonic. Have fun. It, yeah, have fun. Will do, thanks. Please you see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. Consider me calming. He's looking right at me. Studying ninjutsu, I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. You cling to walls. What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Yes, SBO is cool. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh, yeah. Sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Seems to be avoiding eye contact. There's something amiss, sir. I seem to have, uh, misplaced my ticket. <laughs> Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. Not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. 
And so we should keep our eyes peeled for a ticket. Uh, no more than Mirage Express. Happy birthday, Amy. Weather. Sure. Well, there's a ticket here. Sticking out of this napkin holder. I just assumed it was Knuckles's. Sir, wasn't someone looking for that ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return it to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses the ticket as a napkin. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have what you need. Why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? So sad to see a ticket alone in a like this. We'll return it. I have faith. Ah, there it is. There, my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, old Chow J here would have put their plans for kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha ha ha. Wait, who made me both a microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Here. Thank you, everything is in order. Seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? You sell gift bags around here? Oh, uh, no, but s sadly, uh, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Stare. Brr, so cold. Soldier, oh, you're shivering. You need me to fetch your jacket. Ah, oh, no, I'm good. He forgot to get a present for Amy. I'm a little surprised he cares. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hehe, <laughs> why certainly! Thank you, Miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festival. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting, it's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Uh, before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? I don't know, because I need to learn the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically a tradition. Is it? Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Blaze is here. But no silver? I have your ticket. Uh, thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she say princess? You don't mind me. Oh, whoops. If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? Separate dimension, actually. Separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back on to my own dimension. I prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I'll admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, oh you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should, should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? I like Blaze, but it is definitely weird to include her in things because, uh, you know, she is a princess from another dimension. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you get that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. That's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Alright, the conductor is on. 
You're a member of our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Just sell Jay if they need any help, won't you? Oh, 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 that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave and have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place. The train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with it. For everything else, please talk to Saldre here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? Oh, that must be the details for their motivations. I suppose it makes sense that lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you're a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the ship captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. <laughs> What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. Last but not least, it's me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yep. I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Different stations marked on this map as well. How convenient. Why does the train look like this? You know what? I'm sure it doesn't matter. Map added to your inventory. Rules of the game are as follows. The murderer is amongst you all. The murderer can't kill a single participant, however. Can kill a single participant, however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to be for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to investigate the fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will get to lie out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues. Interrogate. I'll set a timer for an hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Ooh. <coughs> How long have we been going for? 18 minutes? Alright, alright. Sorry, my voice is dying. I, I cannot do these in long parts. Oh, this is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of scary. I'll admit it, I'm nervous too. Can you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping out the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. I'm trying to do the Tales voice, I just can't do it. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. To be fair, I can't do a lot of the girls' voices, and maybe it's because Tails is, like, voiced by a girl. What do you think everyone's doing? Well, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. <sighs> you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. 
My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned jour journalist. I'm gonna lie, this again, son of. I wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Train started moving. So fast, grab onto something. What's going on? I'm slipping. Hold on, I can't. What the heck? both awake. Yeah, seems like they're trying to slow down. Wow, how exhilarating. I know, the production on this train is astounding. It's definitely more intense than I expected. I've been knocked in the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. Spending our money's worth this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning about me this in the interview. You should go check on the others. Saljay, could you get the door? <clears throat> of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's uh, find another way out. I'll start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. I wish she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. We'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. We'll do everything in our power to make sure our guests are taken care of. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Do you think Tails want me to cook any of this for you? You get out of here, sure. Normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet's gotten a lot of use lately. I can cast a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Ugh. Yeah. Shelf blocking our exit. It's not budging. Hey, Saljay, take a look at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen onto. I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I think this is important. You should log it. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty, but on the bright side, it's a very clean trash. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Ah, oh, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. He was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. He slid into an older gentleman shopping cart. Oh, well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. There's nothing else to look at. Alright, Amy. What's the latest? Find the clues yet? Found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Start interrogation. Hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Really? But I've clicked on everything. Uh... Okay. Well, we're here. Am I missing something? Huh. I... I don't know what I'm missing. Okay, I literally- oh, here we go. 
What's this, a rod? Tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick to that bird. We found enough tools. Let's go interrogate Amy. I know what really happened. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? I was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Selja and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that's been deduced, we must form our argument and fight back. What proves Amy attempted to escape? What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument there. You're grasping. Well, we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? I have to explain myself what you see. Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, bashing bad. He never loses. An endless runner. I play a lot of those on my phone. Ah, uh, sure, whatever works. He has one of those, too. Uh, just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? Find your argument. Follow the train of thought. Fire a comeback, like Sonic would do. What the heck? Okay. Okay, that wasn't the cleanest, but I did it. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this woke up the damage here was here before we arrived? What? Well, I, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? What's that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go, it's Sonic time. We're out here. Pro gamers with our game gear. <laughs> You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage on a shelf on its own, but if it's attached to something it could, let's say, a hammer? This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle of your Pico Pico hammer. We attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle of your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh. As you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whap and the handle ripped right off. It was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. I just look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It's one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let's see if... Let me see both pieces of your hammer. Just tighten things here, little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stay on back. Shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! Alright, nice. Alright, guys. I'm gonna save it here. We're gonna finish this game. I don't know how long it is, but... You know, how, how long could it possibly be, right? Anyways. See y'all next time. Peace.